Is this real? There's a skeleton in here. Hmm? There's a skeleton in here. A real one? I don't know. Good morning from Lima again. <laughs> <laughs> We've only been on this trip for like three days and already I'm forgetting where we are. We have to be a little bit quiet because there's other people sleeping here. <clears throat> but we are on our way to catch a bus. It's not even six o'clock yet, but we have to be walking about five minutes to our pickup point because we're mm -hmm. going to start our Peru Hop experience. Yep, we're going with a company called Peru Hop. It's a bus service that takes you from Lima all the way down to Cusco and if you want even over to Bolivia. It's exciting and then this first leg we're actually gonna do a five hour journey today from Lima to a small town called Paracas and along the way we're gonna stop in a couple points and to check out a few things. That's gonna be fun so we have to get going because we have about a five minute walk. Oh my god. Yeah but it's with all our bags too. <laughs> Nah, it's not a big deal, but it's supposed to be fun, it's going to be socialized, it's going to be a lot of cool things. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. right now so with this once we are over we're going to continue we're finally on the road uh, we just checked in and our guide Fernando gave us a lot of great information and welcoming us on the bus and now we're off to our first destination and we checked in get our passport checked and I get my wristband and we're just ready to go we're just gonna go to breakfast so we already ordered what we wanted so we can just gonna stop by and pick up and have a good breakfast. So we stopped at a place called Mirasur, it's about 85, 90 kilometers outside of Lima. And we stopped for breakfast. Olive's got a good serving of chicharrones and I've got just scrambled eggs and bread. And I get two special things that they recommended. One is, like Michael said, the chicharrones sandwich. Basically, it's a pork skin sandwich with some kind of vegetables. And the second one is something is called the... Hold on one second. I actually wrote it down. It is like an herbal Peruvian drink. It's called the emoliente. And it is basically a toasted barley, flax seeds, dried horse tail which is actually not the actual animal, it's the name of the plant. And it's served with the herbal kind of hot water. So it's supposed to be good for your stomach. Actually, I'm gonna have a sip of the drink. Ooh, my initial thought was kind of like a tamarind juice because it's slightly, slightly sweet, but has some kind of sourness to it. It's pretty good. Very hot, yeah. Okay, this is really hot, obviously. You can see it just hot from the oven. It smells really good, obviously, it's fresh. It is really hot. How much did you check? Hamon con queso. Hamon con queso, oh! Hamon con queso, so there's ham and cheese in it. Ham and cheese bread, it's good. <laughs> A lot of guinea pigs here. Let's see which ones need, look like they need food. I guess they're not hungry. I guess they don't, uh, they just don't like me. And we're back on bus. It's a good place to stretch our legs and get some breakfast. And now we continue on to our next destination, which is the Hacienda San Jose. And the second stop today, and just right before we arrive in Paracas, is the Hacienda San Jose. Um, this is like a great pit stop and we are about to start the tour here in about five minutes after everybody's done with the bathroom and also supposedly there's a secret slave 
tunnel. So we're gonna check that out. Okay, we're actually entering the slave tunnel now and they told us to put on these masks, so we did. We have lights. And we're also told that there might be some bats down here, so... His name is if Alfred. You, if you hear any shrieking, just it's Alfred. It's the camera crew. <laughs> In this case, as a place to hide. Our guide told us that this room is one of the many, many rooms that built underneath this hacienda. And the main purpose is to avoid the attacks. People who occasionally came here and tried to count all the slaves, and this is where they put the slaves so that the owner avoid paying tax for them. This is scarier. This is what I think more seems to be more authentic. Maybe. Okay. Uh, watch out. The size of the room were mostly like this. Here was well known as the test room. Alright, make it back work first. I'm gonna pass the camera into you. Okay. Okay, you got it? Yep, I got it. <sighs> get me tight here, guys. It's gonna get much worse. Just watch your head. Okay. <laughs> Alright, it's my turn. <laughs> Let's go. We get traffic jam here. Part is much easier. It's much higher ceiling, highly appreciated because when you start crunching down and start to fit into places with cameras, yeah, it's a bit tough, it's a bit challenging. It's very disconcerting that the ceiling's falling apart. Yeah, I'm not sure what's above us and I assume it's a I'll whole just... building. <laughs> and our guide mentioned that there's so many entrances here, so thankfully, if one area is collapsed, at least you get another way to get out. Unless you're under the area that collapsed. Are we going through there? We're passing a series of rooms where sometimes slaves have to be staying overnight. And it's pretty cramped. And then obviously modern, we got masks. And I highly doubt they had masks to protect them whatsoever. Is this real? There's a skeleton in here. Hmm? There's a skeleton in here. A real one? I don't know. That's why this is also black. That was a little bit more constricting than I thought it was going to be. But not as bad as the Kushi tunnels in Vietnam, which were really bad. They were so bad that you couldn't even make it through. So it turns out that the bones that were in the room were actually real. They didn't say anything about them, which was kind of odd, but they were real. and we just checked in our place here in, what is it called? Los Frias Hotel Residential and room is not too big, but it's actually on the third floor, have a swimming pool, check out the bathroom too. I think it's open the other way. Oh, it's pretty fancy. Look, that's all you need in the bathroom.
which he doesn't have. <laughs> it's so dark and scary here, but we managed to found a flashlight to lit up. And Michael has a new date tonight. Best friend. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>